What's up, YouTube? It's KV Syndrome coming back at you with another episode of Dangarapa Trigger Happy Havoc. It looks, looks like you so... found it, right, Makoda? The bloody numbers, that's mostly... That must... That's most likely Sakura's dying message. My reading skills have only slightly improved. I've never seen something written in blood before. It really has her, It really was her final message. It's as if she wrote it with her life itself. Right. Do you often talk like an aspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037. I have no idea what that could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting, while she was sitting the way we found her, means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result? Well, Think about it. You're not going to tell me? You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious you're not going to tell me. Dying message has been added to Truth Bullets section of your handbook. It sounds like Kyoko knows what Sakia's dying message means, but honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know. Oh, I know who I should talk to. When it comes to numbers, who better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoda. There's one thing I, sh I want to ask you about. Mm. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it got st how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked, but once you learn the trick, it is... Once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's you didn't right. notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kelko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. There was one more thing. So then. Ah. There we go. Oh, what the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. Whatever it was, it's obvious this was intentional. What it was intentional? Why would someone want to do that? So... I guess maybe they were trying to get trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. But my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it. Only the girls' bathrooms can lock, right? She stood there for a while, lost in thought. And apparently, stuck with a sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a I have just one more question for you. you. Mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we were when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it? Mm hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I get the scene. I get the sense that she was really starting to get into all of this. I and that see. clears that up. Huh? Well, it clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. Well then, she's... Wait, 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 wait. Oh well, whatever. Bathroom doorknob has been added to the truth bullets section of your handbook. Mm. I still don't really understand any of this, but I've already given my room a good once over. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should uh I should start looking into where the murder weapon might have come from and also I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks if they're, they'll even talk to me, that is. Alright. Uh, nope. Just leave the room. Wait. What? Why are. Why is it? Huh? This is definitely my room, but the nameplate has Sayaka's name on it. Huh? This is Sayaka's room, right? But the nameplate has my name on it. The nameplate of my room and Sayaka's rooms were switched? 
so all that effort I put in switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Name Dorm nameplates has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Alright. Let's get inside the room. Mine as well. He did say the DVD, and the DVD is here, so... Yep, the DVD with Sakia's name on it. Sakia got really upset after seeing whatever was in that video. I wonder, what did she see? It might not be directly related to the case, but it might be worth checking out anyway. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I need to borrow this DVD. Nothing else left here, so... Let's get out of here. Sakia was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? Ah, is that all you guys are here for? Mm -hmm. Very strange. Mr. Nagy, what was Miss Mazio doing in your room? Let me just say this. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. You really think I'm guilty? That must have been a hint. Let's go. Because... He said nameplate, so obviously it was to look at the nameplate, but then he said trash room. So let's go have a look, see at the trash room. <laughs> it just it all scooted back. There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Oh, a coin. Yay. There's a sturdy gate here. No way to get past. Monokuma appears! It's the end of the line. The trash room. This is where all the trash in the school eventually winds up. How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. No, no. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any no, further. No, no, no. No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't. Okay. This is stupid. It'd be fast if I just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go. Cleaning duty has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. It looks like some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Ooh, coin. Security camera. Door. TV. Alright, well, let's go see if we can't go talk to... Let's see if we can't go talk to him again. I keep trying to push down on the sticks to run. That's not how this works. Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Hmm. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just hap It just so happened Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. So I formally applied for the position. Mm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. But since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gate in front of the trash room. Of go. course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. You know, this guy already sounded like such a pervert. I'm a little scared, honestly, for him to throw away my trash. I would be scared. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Oh, okay. Okay, that's better. That's better. Very Wait, strange. hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and the only person on cleaning duty has access to the key? What's the point of going through all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever we want? That does seem more convenient. So, in other words... Actually... Anyone who kills a fellow student becomes a black and will graduate unless they are discovered. So that's That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. The thrill would disappear and things would become boring. But boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, Fatty. Hey, Fatty, what do you want the clean duty gig anyway? Oh, I, I just decided um, to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You, Liar. I know why you did it. Is it you want to dig like, through all the girls' trash looking for, you know, and poking around at it. What are you talking about? about? All my love is for 2D. Kind of you know I mean. But there's still all kinds of trash trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to 
I would never get tired of 2D. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. Uh, the only thing 3D is good for is to shower in love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hafuma's questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy is clean duty, Saki, I can accompany them for picking up the trash to disposing of it. Sakura. Sakura. My bad, guys. <laughs> what? what? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? That's not how it's supposed to... Anyway, on another topic, Hefume, since you were on clean duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or save a village or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. So easy. So Hefume and I headed to the trash room. I like how when they drop, they just scoop back. Like, oh, too close. Go to the foreground. You'd like me to open the gate, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Get busy loving or get busy dying, he said. So him and Ra so him and Rita, they found themselves a way out. Whatever. Please just hurry up. <laughs> Okie dokie. Leave it to me. Kind of who may pull the key out of his pocket and use it to flip the switch next to the gate. And then... Mr. However, Mr. Nyagi, surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along. No, I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You wanted to see if you left anything behind. Wait, maybe a parallel world? Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Well, there's clearly stuff here, so that's a thing. There are shards of broken glass scattered around in the front of the incinerator. It looks like it used to be some something, some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yeah, is that? Do you know what this is? They say if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Dragon Ball Z reference. Well, he is extremely nerdish. I mean, I watched anime too, so. But still. Hmm. I mean, kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big city street corner. Gaze into it and you will see how. Gaze into it and it will show you a glimpse of the future. Just like that Mena girl who was on the quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did that particular ball belong to? There's only one person it could be. It should all still be in the gym. I'd better go find out for sure. Scattered crystal ball has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Ah. There's something on the ground in front of the incinerator. Looks like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece? Like a hunk? Like a hunk of burning love? Yes, I just attempted to read that quickly in Elvis's voice because that's all that came to mind. Anyway, this is... It looks like a piece of cloth in the shape. It's part of the sleeve from a button-up shirt. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means... This is all that's left of some of the evidence the killer destroyed. There are lots of people here with button-up shirts. This isn't enough by itself to figure out who the killer is. Burnt shirt piece has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. A green button and a yellow button. There's no doubt they're related to the big machine. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet from here to the gate. And ah! Ah! And it's on right now. Mm -hmm. You see the green and yellow button next to the mouth of the incinerator? Yes, it's a pretty indeed. simple setup to push the green button to get it going and yellow button to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on clean duty, so make sure you learn this before you leave. Okay? Huh? Somebody turned on the incinerator? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off the last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Hayafumi, do you realize what you just said? 
Huh? The fairy? No, you said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> ah, yes, about that. There can be no mistake. If I've got one thing going for me, it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has a key to open the gate, Most it should be impossible suspicious. for the incinerator to be on. And yet... So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. But how is that possible? Incinerator has been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. This whole thing is quite hmm. strange indeed. Hmm. When I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> what does it all mean, Mr. Nagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? Everyone already I'm knows sure you did it. it. All the mysteries are being solved one by one. Sounds like he's leaving out one of his comic book fantasies. Sounds like he's leaving out one of his comic book fantasies. Mm. Alright, let's leave the area. I should be able to see... I should... I should be able to use this to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw away in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen. I put the DVD in the player. I pushed play. The screen was dark for a few seconds, but then an image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there along she was there along with her friends. She was there along with her friends, she said had been so important to her. She was positively glowing. She positive She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing that image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then that voice that had come to the spy so much began to float out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. Suddenly, the screen went dark, and in the next room, Mount Moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. What the? Sayaka had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. But what I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had all simply collapsed. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say he was even able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Well, let's get out of here. Alright, I gotta talk to Surfer Dude. I call him Surfer Dude. Because he looks like a surf... Yo. Mm, the stereotypical. Either way. Here we go. Hey, hero, can I ask you something? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here now. I've had enough. Gotta get free. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it. Okay. Uh, um. mm. Huh? Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? Ah! That's my crystal ball! But it's all smashed. What the hell? The heck? I only bought it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So, how did it break? Was it actually just made of glass and not crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? He said it belonged to the he said it belonged to the pillars of history: Genghis Khan, George Washington, Napoleon. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously all BS? Jesus. Oh fuck. This guy. He'd be the one you sell oregano to. 
he'd be like the 30 year old you're selling oregano to. Um, let's put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belongs to you. Uh, yeah, um, that's mine for sure. Probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come out and snatched it. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Shattered Crystal Ball has been updated in the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, sure. Um, um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? Uh, Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. Came out to be like a million. Uh, this is someone that you sell oregano to with some glitter and say it's a special rare kind of strand from Snoop Dogg's personal selection that he grows himself and he would buy it. That's pretty cheap, actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world, that's just too, too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. All right, bro. I'm, I'm out of here. Yes. I keep trying to turn to walk out. <laughs> I keep trying to turn to walk out, but you can't just walk out. Uh, ding doo. <laughs> Fucking table. Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, You know, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh, no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me, helps me calm, helps me be calm. So I know I shouldn't, so I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Well, let's go look and see the knife. Ah, see, look at this. Knives. Knives. There are all kinds of kitchen knives here, big to small, but looks like one of them is missing. Was it missing from the very beginning? Or, I'd better see if anyone here knows more about it. Kitchen knife set has been added to the Truth Bullets section of your handbook. Well, the only person who would know anything about that would be her. Because she said that she was doing this last night when Sayaka was killed, so. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, you know, it's just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. When I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying that the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining hall? Hmm. Yeah. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. Then you should be able to say for sure. You can tell everyone I didn't come to the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. I always account had been added to the truth bullet section of your handbook. Hey, by the way, did you really kill Sayaka? Oh, what? Of course not! I would never! Hina, do you really think I murdered her? Because, Well, I mean... she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean... You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, the one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So when you consider everything together, Aww. I honestly have no idea. Waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon! The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. All right, boys and girls, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here right before the big trial. Uh, we collected as much evidence as I hope we could get. 
and we're gonna try and prove that I killed no one. I was asleep, plus all y'all were there. You saw that I was asleep the whole time. Next episode, we're gonna go into the trial and figure out who actually killed her. It's KV Syndrome, signing off. And as always, stay sane. Pick a and the